Well, ladies and gentlemen, without further delay, I would now like to invite Dr. Anurag Batra, Chairman and Editor-in-Chief, Exchange for Media and Lead of your Business World, to say a few words. Over to you, Dr. Thank you so much. You know, Bhavna, you set the context. Uh, uh, we have two stalwarts from the business and uh, branch domain who are here, so I'd rather utilize the presence of them. Uh, let me welcome uh, Mr. Bharat Puri, who's the Chairman and Managing Director of uh, Pretty Light Industries. Uh, most consumers know uh, Pretty Light for Fevicol and many other brands. And uh, he was uh, just telling me that he spent 17 years at Asian Paints, 17 years at Cad Cadbury's, and at least hopefully 17 years at Asian Paints uh, at uh, Pretty Light. So one of the constant in Mr. Puri's life has been a gentleman called Mr. Piyush Pandey. Again, Mr. Pandey doesn't really need an introduction, uh, but he's the executive chairman of Ogilvy in India and if I have to use a off use uh, adjective about him, he's the most influential ad man uh, that the last three decades have seen in the country and he continues to be relevant and uh, help businesses build brands. So let me dive right into the conversation by inviting uh, both of them uh, for a conversation. Uh, they worked with each other uh, for last almost 29 plus years, 30 years. In next year, it'll be 30 years of their association. We may have to do an event around that. And uh, television has been around for at least three decades. The brands that have been built in India have been built on the back of television. And the last 13 months have made sure people spend more time on their homes. And hence, television viewing has gone up. Uh, the amount of time we're spending on television has gone up. Oral of the time we're spending on screens is going up. We could have called this conference first. So let me start by asking uh, Mr. Piyush Pandey first and then Mr. Puri, by first asking them uh, how have been the last 13 months for them personally and professionally, uh, Mr. Pandey? Yeah, thank you, Anurag. Um, I think uh, there are periods in life when you learn a lot and those are the times when your past learnings also come into play. Uh, there have been testing times, testing times, um, where you were not with your people in, an, in a communications company, the physical interaction with people is very critical. But I think we managed quite nicely. Um, I was not a Zoom guy, but now I think I'm living in Zoom um, half the time in the zone, on the Zoom and little time in the pool. That must be Zoom Ritalaya. So, so I think we, uh, find ways and means and uh, learning from technology and interacting with each other. These are testing times. These are tough times. We shot a lot of stuff uh, in ways which we had not used earlier. Um, and the industry must have done the same thing. But um, yes, um, where there's a will, there's a way. And that's what uh, has come into play. And I think by and large, we have lived up to the challenge and uh, uh, been around and getting at it. So I would say, yes, lots of learning. You know, Jumri Dalaya is clearly creating a, a communication for clients and businesses that make sure that in this period of pandemic, uh, they feel connected and they're, uh, you know, utilizing the brand and the relationship that the consumers and brands have continue to get refreshed. Let me bring in Mr. Bharat Puri into the conversation. Mr. Puri, how have been the last 13 plus months for you, both personally and professionally? See, again, carrying on from where uh, Piyush left off, I think, you know, one of the normally a very misused word is unprecedented. But I think the last 13 months we can use unprecedented and, you know, very justifiably so. And from a professional and personal level, you know, in all of, in any adversity, there are going to be, you know, what I call the gifts of the adverse, the gifts of COVID and the pains of COVID. And both professionally and personally, you've had both. I mean, if, you know, let me always start with the negative first, the pains, you know, a person like me, I really, you know, actually thrive by walking the floor, walking the market, being out with my people. If you ask me what's the single biggest pain of COVID, it is the lack of what I call, you know, 
social uh, capital, the ability to congregate around the coffee machine, the water cooler, walk the market, put your arm around guys, say, kya chal raha hai? walk the, our campus uh, at Pidilite. I think that, you know, outside all of the regular stuff, which is, you know, people's safety, people's security, the second wave has actually been far, far more painful than last year. So if you ask me, I thought 12 months we've got through well. This 13th month has been really painful because a lot of colleagues, their families, and you know, we're all part of an extended family. Just managing this situation and still holding out hope to people, still trying to tell people that, listen, this too shall pass, has been trying. But equally, there have been the gifts, you know, while Piyush has sat in Jumri Talaya, if you asked me a year back that I'm going to be such a team's man, I, you know, Microsoft Teams was something which I signed the invoices when my IT teams told me. Now it's like, you know, part of my life, morning, evening and night. The way I think all of us have become digitally native, digitally empowered, the way we've actually still managed to do business sitting at home, I think it just tells us about, if I was to say, at Pedalite and for me personally, the two words of the last 13 months are A, adaptability and B, resilience. You keep adapting and hopefully, you know, you keep being resilient and saying, you know, ye, ye bhi hoga, and it will. I think that in a Absolutely. sense characterizes the it, last 12 months. Well. I remember about 10 years back, I was having a conversation with Piyush and we're talking about market research. Piyush, of course, uh, took a dig at everybody who does market research and said, ke market mein ja ke baat kya karo consumer se. Usse pata lagta hai, observe karne se pata lagta hai. Research karne se thoda pata lagta hai. So, uh, coming back to uh, our agenda of television first, you two have worked for the last 30 years. Now, uh, you started working on, luckily you worked on Iconic Brands and uh, as you were telling me when Piyush won his first uh, big award, he said one of the constant among all his campaigns were the three brands uh, that you've been part of, Bharat, and the one person that was part of all those campaigns which became iconic and you know, memorable and we, you know, those ring in our minds and we remember them uh, were from Asian Page, from Cadbury's uh, and from Favicol. So tell me, uh, Piyush, uh, when we talk of television first, we've spent much more time in our homes. Now, has the role of communication changed? I know, of course, the role of communication is to build brands, to make sure people uh, purchase the brand. But in how has communication on television changed in the last few months? especially people spending so much time on their uh, mobile phones and gadgets and the screen time going up. How has communication changed? See, communication has changed only in the areas where you had to be sensitive to what people are going through. Uh, at the same time, when you're selling something, communication has not changed. Communication is, will never change. It will always be about engaging people. It will always be about building relationships with the consumer. So communication has changed. I mean, uh, I'll take one example. The, the one with not just a Cadbury's ad. Now, that was in keeping with the circumstances with the small businesses feeling the pressure more than the larger ones. And there was Cadbury's actually... Uh, using shops which were not selling Cadbury's and promoting them on, on the Cadbury's ad. So lots of people have done some good stuff out there. So taking into account the circumstances, any communication tries to take into account the circumstances. So that way it has changed. Uh, otherwise... So, so, so are the shoots, you know, I was told by, you know, I was talking to uh, Bhavan Rani <laughs> last April um, about how he said, I'm shooting my dad sitting at my home. So clearly the budgets for advertising uh, films must have come down uh, because clearly have they come down? It has impacted the budgets. I'm no, sure it's not all, impacted all, the creativity. All, 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 depends. All, all depends. When you're shooting stuff like that, if your cost is lesser, then the budget um, became that. If you didn't have to spend time on setting up a studio and getting big time characters, you had to shoot real people from home. Those budgets were lower. But uh, during the time when it opened up, the big budget films also came in. It's all courses for courses. If it doesn't cost you that much, then you don't charge that much. 
I didn't want to cost you a lot. Then it cost that much. So, I mean, the most amazing um, stuff which was done very early in COVID times was the one done uh, with Amitabh Bachchan, Mirakala Chashma, which used every big star from around the country. And they were shooting in their homes. So, when you're under pressure, you find ways, as Bharat said earlier, in adversity lies opportunity. And that's where you learn. So that's where, not that that film costed a huge amount of money, but it was a magical thing to do using so many stars and shooting from their sons were shooting them. The director was sending them stuff. So all depends uh, to the basic point you asked me about, about budgets. Budgets will depend on the script. Script will of depend course. on the, the process of execution. Absolutely. And again, uh, IPL is happening and during IPL, lots of new commercials break, rightly so, because the audiences are hooked on to cricket. And, you know, again, there is a debate about whether IPL should happen or not happen. And um, there are two arguments. One is in this time of trouble, it's a happy escape. It lightens your load and life has to anyway go on. So uh, what's your viewpoint on that? My point of view is very clear that uh, definitely IPL must happen. Because that's great entertainment for people that in their homes keep them keeps them home, and uh, from what I've seen, what I've read, what I've gathered from my friends, is that the protocol of conducting the game is wonderfully done. So the ones who are entertaining you are safe. You are home, and you are safe. So I I, I think unless something drastic happens in life, and God willing, it will not. It should go on. Absolutely. Now, let me focus on the relationship both of you have. You worked uh, for the last 29 plus years. What has changed? Uh, the relationship has stayed constant. You continue to build big brands, and you continue to do TV commercials and communication. That uh, became more than just ads. That became, uh, you know, a uh, landmark uh, piece of content that enthralled the hearts of consumers. So tell us what has changed about your relationship? How's the relationship evolved? Relationship, uh, but... relationship is a relationship of, of trust earned through your deeds with each other, with your behavior with each other, with mutual respect. And uh, that's the way I met Bharat Puri for the first time. And that's grown and grown and we became friends very quickly and the relationship is now can be defined as a bond. <laughs> Literally so, but it was a bond always. And uh, if something has changed, the weight of the relationship has changed because both of us have on weight. Otherwise, nothing has changed at the heart level. We'll never Absolutely. change. But I, let me ask you, uh, give us some I mean, we can go technical about TV advertising. I don't want to give us some fun moments, some one or two anecdotes of creating uh, the communication that you created with uh, Piyush because really uh, brands are the most important part of what you do. Uh, so tell, give us one or two anecdotes about Piyush and you oh, know, when yes. you both are, were working. You know, in, uh, let me first tell you, how did Piyush and me actually start working together? It's, you know, it's quite a story. Here I was, young marketing, you know, product manager at Asian Paints, making my first campaign. And, you know, the agency came, presented. We really liked the idea. The idea was celebrate with Asian Paints, you know, which went on later for many years. Now, those days, advertising was very South Bombay oriented. So I told the fellows, but, you know, from now, Asian Paints, we're going to advertise in Hindi. So I want to see this in Hindi. And believe me, the translation of celebrate with Asian paints was Asian paints ke saath jashan manao. You know, for anybody, <laughs> Anurag, like you and me, who's grown up in uh, the Hindi heartland, I said, Bhaiya, aap logo ko, you have no idea of Hindi. I want somebody who has spoken Hindi at home and who's grown up. With... Now they all looked very puzzled and said, no, no, we've got good. I said, no, I don't want translate. I want somebody who's grown up. Then they said, we have got our copy chief. We'll, we'll send him. And that's how Piyush came. And I, you know, I, the moment he saw this and I told him the story, he said, yaar, ye kya kar rahe? in rapping, I still remember the line. He says, Aa gaya. So I said, kya line hai? He said, Har khushi mein rang lai Asian paints. 
that went on anurag mm-hmm. then for pretty much i think about 15 years or so now that's the power yeah. of a great line and that's how we got together and then i gently told the agency ke bhai ab ye mera creative partner to yahi hoga ab aap log apna internal system maan lo so that's how we started working together and there are so many instances i must tell there was a world cup when see the piyush pande ke sath do problem hai ek to he wakes up very early to so, aaj bhi aaj bhi na pone 9 baje meri mother ki tabhi tikni to main jaldi uta hua tha aur main phone silent pe lekhta hu main dekha 8:45 pe call main apne pitaji se baat kar raha tha maine jaise hi khatam kiya maine inko phone kiya to pande ji ka sware aa jata hai achhi baat hai to then your abhi to is pone now is late by his standard normally is ka saath you know in the days of landlines wo saath baje the landline will ring and you will groggily go to the landline and he'll say partner idea suno <laughs> and then he will suna you the idea and i still remember he once it was he there was this whole mera wala cream mera wala blue mera wala pink campaign in asian paints and he said i got a great idea but uska jo set hai wo agle 5 din ke liye hi hai i said kya hai and this was ad was set in pushkar where you know uh, a person likes the turban of somebody and says mera wala blue and he said but the problem hai ke 5 din mein sab karna hai and you know the fascinating thing was it was approved on the phone by lunch time the estimates had been signed and in 5 days the ad was made in pushkar and it was played so that's you know these i mean i can with piyush and me, i, I can give you many aapne bola do problem hai aapne ek bataya to jaldi ha to ha ek main aapko bata ek ye problem hai ki he wakes up very early dusra ye hai ki when he gets excited by an idea it doesn't matter where you are or this thing ye he will trace you down and say ki bhai abhi hi karna hai so i still remember i was once abroad on something and you know in the world cup cricket was going on and he had, we had this beautiful thing where we on our hoardings we would put up all the jerseys and as teams would uh, lose unka jersey would go away and you know the and it would become mera wala blue mera wala this and then we lost to sri lanka over the this thing he you know over the phone i don't know which location i was in he said as as i have partner i said piyush if you are convinced time convinced let's go and i think again at some late hour the ad was approved and next day it was on so issue that, one he wakes that, up early issue two is jab usko when he is consumed by something until it is set to rest he is not going to rest <laughs> can i add something yes yeah this mirawala blue story is is a great story for young marketers is what trust means it was a print ad barat yes um, almost a half a page on times of india which was not cheap and uh, i told bharat what the idea is bharat saw the ad in the newspaper the next morning he had not seen the ad i had only told him over the phone and said that sounds good go ahead you know that's trust and uh, we have to trust each other we have to put our necks on the line and uh, only then magic happens and that answers your question and would that gets to how some good work happened across brands over the years when we were working together is purely a question of if you have trust when you place trust in a person that you believe in believe me that person works 10 times harder when you give a dobi list it's very easy to comply and deliver when somebody says i i will go with you it's not that i work in less i work 10 times harder because somebody has said i believe in you so that that's the learning which will come handy to uh the young people on this webinar once and i'm not saying the trust comes on day one we succeed together we demonstrate faith in each other and that builds and builds and then you can play shots that you never thought you were capable of playing. absolutely bharat would you like to add to this yes and you know anurag in all of this i think the key you know all of us are into you know we must have the right inspirational brand positioning and you must and you must have a tight creative brief but finally all advertising is created by a team which has a common purpose and a common passion and two out of 10 times you will also get it wrong the thing is to hold hands take it on the chin and move on but the eight of, out of 10 times that you get it right more than make up for it, all of that you know 10 times over and the wonderful thing over time is 
when it becomes one team i mean it's fascinating and now in our team there is also you know piyush's brother prasoon who's the filmmaker and a lot of times between the two of them they will reject ideas before they even come to you so you know the fascinating thing is there is a marketing cum creative agency first working in the agency before it comes to the client i mean can you imagine the multiplier it gives you and it's like you know for example you see this famous fevicol sofa which got talked about so much last year it became probably the most shared ad of last year the fascinating thing was first you know prasoon was thinking it's a thodi lambi hai ye to radio ke liye achhi hai and we said the idea is so powerful no we have to make it as a film and you know digit aaj ke digital world mein anurag everybody says people have low attention spans you can't make more than 20 seconds at this 90 second ad was one of the most shared i mean it's fascinating i've been to so many forums in the moment i i ask people how many have seen the ad all the hands go up and everybody has seen it because somebody shared it with them and that's the power of great communication so i i think you know the usual words of trust respect for each other's opinion and most importantly being able to take it take the success and the and the failure together holding hands without any finger pointing is the you know basic bedrock of a strong relationship very good uh, clearly of course it has you rightly said right up front it comes through behavior it comes to experience behavior it comes through what you achieve together and clearly you show down the role of a brand custodian if i may use that word Uh, as much as the company so please let me ask you uh, the last 30 days especially last 3 weeks have been very tough for all of us uh, somebody in our office uh, is facing a loss somebody in our neighborhood is facing a loss uh, what happens in, around us impacts us what keeps you going in these tough times uh, yeah i think the only thing that keeps you going is that it's almost like um there is that, can you hear me yeah when there is trouble around you when there's tragedy around you when there's difficulty around you the thing for you to do is to keep your chin up and reach out to those in trouble see how you can help sometimes your help may not be physical but you help talking to people can you just express to that person that i am there with you keep be strong keep hanging on so what keeps you going is that that person is down so what can i do to chip in for him and that's what kept kept me on so i have i not that i ever had a problem with that you have to write a poster i'll write the poster for you This is what you will write a poster. I say I love writing posters. That's not a problem. So we tip in for each other. It's it's particularly in difficult times. Somebody is must be uh, world building is fit, but his mother is down, and you got to be sensitive to that. So it's that's where a good team helps when you know the value of a hadi. when you know the value of little bits and pieces that you do for each other so being the captain of the team i can't be down and out as long as my body is not giving me trouble i have no pain if i am an early riser of 6 o'clock there's no harm there's no damage if i wake up at 4 o'clock and there's no damage if you sleep at 1:30 so keep at it and, and it's not just me my team has given me that kind of a feeling each one is doing so much that you cannot say that you can't be a part of the effort so that's what keeps me going and it's absolutely it's, it's and about it keeps me going because this battle is ahead of us and we got to keep fighting on absolutely and, and the- like you said Yes, we will cross the barrier someday. Till then, hang in there. Uh, I agree. The small acts of kindness, just being able to make time, just being sensitive, and as you rightly said, if you're the captain of the ship, as long as you're physically able to do it, uh, you'll be able to be there to guide others, just to hear them out, 
to you know share their load if need be and uh, accept them as the way they are in this tough situation and you know, everyone deals with it in a unique way so accepting them in their uniqueness uh, uh, possibly is a great way of being but uh, again you are the very large organization uh, and especially the sales people they're too used to going out going to the stores so overall uh, i know construction activity is down and so on and so forth but uh, how are you keeping the morale of your teams up and what is uh, your message of hope for people who are you know it's impacting our minds it's impacting us uh, because it's impacting people around us what do we do in these tough times i think basically you do three things anurag starting first and foremost is you put all measures in place to put safety and security of people first so it you know in my factories that are working we are doing weekly testing of everybody irrespective of symptoms simply because we want to keep the environment safe across or the simple message to all managers in the company is your team is your responsibility we will only ask them to do what we are willing to do ourselves and this is the time we all have to hold hands we have a covid helpline which is 24 by 7 in the company anybody or his family has any covid related problems they call the helpline we will try our best it's not that all the times we succeed somebody wants a hospital bed somebody is struggling for oxygen some a lot of times people there there are doctors on call we have a full doctor on call service people must feel that right now that you know they have an extended family and that extended family is the pedalite family the second thing is along with safety and security the business continuity how do you ensure business continuity therefore reaching out to customers reaching out to your influencers i mean i you know simple thing we did with our carpenters we realized that as their incomes are going down the carpenter the was waterproofer we actually did a deal with paytm and converted all of their loyalty points into money and said guys you're not going to earn money here you just go and withdraw and you know keep your houses going i mean this is what a responsible company must do in and around all of our factories we went to the district administrations and said whatever you need you need you know uh, money for getting oxygen in place you need money for vaccinations you need money for sanitize we are there as a you know right now in this area we want to be part of the community so there's a safety and security piece there is the business continuity piece and then it is also planning for the future i mean as you know as a corporate i have to also keep saying that listen how is this situation going to change how therefore how do i have to equip myself so there will be winners and losers in any situation how do me and my team be part of the winners rather than you know be fellows who watched it all happen and then there are a whole set of measures around that so it it's a trying time but as you say if you're holding hands and saying that listen this is happening to all of us some are more fortunate than the others have gratitude in whatever you are doing and hold hands and you know let we'll cross this storm together absolutely uh, yeah. you know i have both of you and uh, i don't want to let you go so soon but i'll have to so let me ask you my last question to both of you as you see communication and with digital becoming bigger and bigger and uh, not necessarily it's at the cost of television time uh, because we all have spent so much time on television and at the end of the day we are consuming the television on our devices i watch a certain show on every sunday evening and since i was at my parents home on sunday evening i watched that show on a handheld device you know so i don't know what is television and what is internet the lines are kind of blurry and uh, so i want to uh, ask a prediction from both of you for communication and people who are creating communication and who are building brands seeing into the next 12 to 15 months i'm not asking like a long term what are your top two three predictions uh, first piyush pande and then bharat yeah see uh, there is one thing very clear in my mind that anurag gupta when he is batra when he is at home uh, needs good entertainment when anurag batra is out in his car he needs good entertainment he is not gone out of the house to say on my mobile i accept any bullshit so digital is a part of our life but being on that medium is not good enough be doing great with a medium so that i can engage and entertain anurag while he is not in his house not in front of his tv i should be able to make an equal impact on him so this 
rush to I am on digital is not good enough. Am I great on digital? Is perhaps the business will realize the business will you will see better advertising on digital. Today, the best advertising on digital is only making your TV ads available on digital. No, you have to create for digital. You have to delight people through digital. You, you have to make a brand impact uh, through digital. So yes, digital is here to stay. But unlike other places, TV is going to be here much, much longer, if not for a very, very long time. Digital will coexist. There will be same people who will be watching both. So just make sure that you do not fall short just because the device in his hand is slightly smaller. The heart, is, yes. the heart is equally big while receiving. Beautifully put. Bharat, your final words. See, I, I have just two things to say. I, you know, A, the essence of all good stroke great communication will never change. All good great communication rewards the viewer or the reader as the case may be for their time and does it in a context. That context is a constantly changing context and all of us know that. And really, therefore, I mean, you know, I, you were asking about IPL. It's wonderful that the IPL is on, but it's sad to see, you know, bluntly put quality of a lot of the advertising on IPL. It's, you know, seems to be all made very hurriedly and consume, you know, the time as quickly because it's a limited time frame. And you remember Dhoni and you remember Ranveer Singh, but I don't remember many of the ads. <laughs> and really, therefore, my message first is nothing takes away from great content and great thinking. I mean, pehle gana suno, phir lyrics padho. people are write, reading the lyrics and saying all my lines are there, the ad is made. It can't be. The gana has to make sense. The right. second thing is digital is, is a reality. I mean, what the last 12, 13 months has done is it has given digital a five-year leap in one year. And therefore, you know, in my view of thinking, finally, as a marketer, my job is to communicate and change behavior of consumers. Wherever that consumer may be, the device is going to get smaller. I don't believe the attention span or the ability to entertain is going to change. But wherever the consumer is in the environment she is in, we will have to make sure that we reward her for her time. And if you do, she will share it. She will, you know, uh, celebrate it and she will buy your product. Thank you so much, Bharat. Uh, we could go on. I'm enjoying talking to you, uh, but we have to move on. So thank you for making time. Thank you for being who you are. Thank you for saying uh, what you said and, you know, uh, saying it with so much conviction. And, you know, again, I want to say to all the viewers and people tuned in that these are two in, uh, individuals who over the last three decades have continued to stay relevant. And even as we speak to them, uh, they lead large organizations. They have a huge imprint. So what they are saying is reality. Please embrace it. Uh, I'm sure you learned something that either reinforced what you knew or at least brought uh, a new perspective to that. So my gratitude to Piyush Pandey and uh, Bharat Puri. Thank you so much. And I, uh, next year you will complete 30 years. We must do something around it. Uh, you know, he, actually, he is, actually, actually you got it wrong. It's 36 years. 36? But 30, 30 years they are working. I stand corrected. Uh, for some reason, I, uh, from my knowledge, I thought it was 29 years, but I stand corrected. It's 36 years. Clearly, they are yes, because years, it took uh, younger. See, that, yes. that is also Anurag because both of us started working at the age of 14. In case people Thank are you so much, uh, to nahi lagte. when I grow up, I definitely want to be like one of you. Uh, by the end of the day, I'll figure out who I want to be like when I grow up, but maybe a bit of both of you. Uh, so, But thank you, my sincere gratitude. Uh, God bless you, stay safe, and uh, continue to lead people and inspire people as you are. Thank you so much. Back to, to you, you Anurag, and To you, Anurag, and all your uh, webinar attendees, please stay safe. God bless you all. Thank, thank you so much. You. Stay well and stay strong, and thank you so much, Anurag. Thank, thank you, Bharat. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you. Thank you so much, Dr. Batra. Thank you, Mr. Puri. Thank you, Mr. Pandey, for joining us today and being a part of this great summit. Thank you once again.